Good morning, everybody. The weather this morning reminds me something of Brisbane instead of good old England. I have now great pleasure in introducing to you the members of the 17th Australian 11. First of all, Mr. Vic Richardson, our vice captain. Mr. Richardson, one of our forcing batsmen and also a brilliant field. He is the captain of the South Australian team and also one of our selectors on this trip. The second member I wish to introduce to you, Mr. Kipax, the captain of the New South Wales cricket team. Alan Kipax has been a most consistent batsman throughout this tour. The third member of the team, Mr. Fairfax. Mr. Fairfax, another New South Wales representative, a very solid batsman indeed, and a very good length bowler of medium pace. He has an average of over 50 in the test matches, as has also Alan Kipax. <laughs> the next member I'd like to introduce to you, Mr. Jackson, another New South Wales representative. Mr. Jackson played a sterling knock in the final and decisive test match at the Oval, getting over 70 runs and uh, gave us a very, very fine effort on the fourth morning of the match. The next representative, Mr. Ponsford, who comes from my own state, Victoria. Mr. Ponsford has had wonderful success during the tour, averaging well over 50 in the test matches, and he put up a very, very fine effort in the final test match at the Oval, in which he made 110. The next, Mr. Grimmett, Clary Grimmett from South Australia, our slow bowler, and whom we consider the best slow bowler in the world today. Larry Grimmett has been of great help to me right throughout the tour. In fact, without Clary Grimmett, we wouldn't uh, be nearly the side that we are today. He is also a very useful bat, getting 50 runs in the fourth test match at Manchester. The next representative, Stan McCabe. Stan McCabe, who has represented us in all five test matches, comes from New South Wales, a fine all-rounder, a forcing batsman, a very good field, and is also a very useful medium pace bowler. The next representative, Bert Oldfield from New South Wales, a wicketkeeper who has shown great brilliance right throughout his career. He has represented us also in the five test matches, has kept remarkably well. He is the most experienced man in the side, having been here on four tours, I think. Bert Oldfield has also made some very useful scores through us in the big matches. The next member of the side, Don Bradman. Don Bradman from New South Wales. He has broken many existing or previous existing records in the cricket world with the bat <coughs> on this tour. And he at least must go back to Australia feeling quite satisfied with this his first tour in the old land. The next representative, Tim Wall. <laughs> Tim Wall, another South Australian representative, our fast bowler. He is a man who puts everything he can into his bowling and I can <coughs> assure you that his efforts show that he has a great heart. He hasn't been quite so successful with the bat as some of us had hoped. There's quite a competition among the four or five of the tail enders as to who should finish up with the greatest aggregate. I can't tell you yet who exactly will turn out on top. Next, we come to Percy Hornerbrook. Another Queensland representative, a left arm bowler. Percy put up a very, very fine performance in the second innings of the final test match at Lord's, taking se seven wickets 
for just over 90 runs. Everybody, that concludes the members of this, the 17th Australian 11th.